when a young expert was declared dead after a horrible accident the wolf she had previously helped refuse to leave her side when the village doctor examined him to find out why he hurried to call the police Tao was a ranger in the Chinese region of Xinyan. She had been working for the National Park Service for five years and was in love with her job. She spent most of her day cleaning camping areas, patrolling, and monitoring water levels. She always had dirt on her shoes. And for Tao, that was the greatest sign of happiness. Since she was a child, her parents had introduced her to hiking. The forests in the area were where they spent most of their family vacations. And Tao had formed her best memories there. She felt safe surrounded by nature. And never imagined that anything dangerous could happen there. But all of that was about to change. Summer was coming to an end. And the end of the tourist season meant more free time. For hiking in the park on her own. One day, Tao took a path to the south to explore a trail that circled the edge of the forest. She was so used to being alone that she had never thought that one day she could have unwanted company. After walking for half an hour, she felt a presence behind her. But every time she turned her head, there was no one in sight. The feeling grew stronger, and she could sense someone behind her. Tao knew that about 100 meters ahead, there would be a vast clearing, and whatever was trailing her would have no place to hide in this part of the park. She ran through the clearing and reached the edge of the forest, where she found a large rock and crouched behind it, waiting. She heard the crunch of a branch, before spotting a furry head emerging from the shadows. Her follower was a wolf. Tao felt both amazed and scared at the same time. She stayed in her place and tried to stay calm. If the wolf had wanted to harm her, it would have already done so. It didn't seem to be hunting, and it was alone. It was an unusual behavior for an animal that's typically part of a pack. There was something intriguing about the situation. And for some reason, Tao felt that there was nothing to fear. She decided to keep walking. To her surprise, the wolf followed her. And it kept getting closer. It no longer hid and seemed to act more like a dog than a dangerous predator. As the wolf began walking by her side, the trust between them grew. And Tao became more familiar with it. Within minutes of being close, she realized that the wolf was injured. One of its front legs had an open wound. Despite its efforts to keep up with Tao, it showed signs of weakness. The ranger stopped and sat on the path. She waited for the wolf to settle by her side, before taking out the first aid kit from her backpack. She didn't want to scare her new companion. So she made sure to move gently but confidently. The last thing she wanted was for the wolf to doubt her intentions and run away. Once all her equipment was at hand, Tao cleaned the wound. The wolf didn't move. It had decided to trust this woman and remained calm throughout the process. It showed more patience than she had anticipated. And a deep sense of mutual respect grew within her. Once the wolf's bandage was secured, Tao hoped it would leave and go in search of its pack. Instead, her newfound friend stayed with her for another hour. It seemed to have no intention of parting ways with her at all. So, they walked together to the highest point of the trail. From there, Tao could see where she had parked her car. At the start of the hike this morning, it had been a peaceful view for her. Especially with the wolf by her side. What an adventure this day had been. Little did she know, it was far from over and would end in tragedy. Tao was lost in her thoughts when a loud noise came from the road. It sounded like someone was trying to get attention. She wasn't working that day. But it was still her duty to investigate. If anything suspicious was happening in the national park. She had a responsibility and wasn't going to shirk it. She waited for the car horn to sound again. And hurriedly headed in the right direction. After 10 minutes of brisk walking. 
She reached an opening where she could see three men in the distance. One was in a car. And the other two were patrolling along the edge of a hill next to a ditch. The car horn continued to blare. But it took Tao another ten minutes to reach the road. The situation was terribly suspicious, and she wondered. Why the three men were causing such a commotion in a protected area. When Tao finally caught up with the group. The three men seemed petrified upon seeing her. And huddled behind their car. The ranger came to a sudden stop. Confused, before realizing that the wolf was still with her. It took a few minutes to reassure everyone. And explain that the wolf posed no danger. Once Tao managed to get the men to tell her the story. They described how a second car had been stuck in the mud for hours. And despite their efforts. The first car hadn't been able to tow it out. They were desperately hoping that. Someone with a larger car would come by and help them. Tao took matters into her own hands and ran to fetch her car to assist the group. The wolf chose to return to the forest. But there was no time for farewells. These people were counting on her. And she wasn't going to let them down. However, it seemed that helping them wasn't in her plans. As Tao started to drive toward the roadside. A truck came out of nowhere and collided with her car's side door. Causing her car to crash into a tree. When the dust settled and the men approached the car. They knew they shouldn't move Tao's body. That could have been more harmful or even fatal for her. Instead, they called 911 and waited for an ambulance to. Take her to the nearest town. Which happened to be Tao's hometown. It was a poor and rural area. And unfortunately, that day the doctor was already out of town. The news of Tao's accident spread quickly through the village. And her family rushed to her side. Experienced individuals attempted to revive her. But she showed no signs of life. After a few hours, her parents declared her dead. Their precious girl was gone forever. And there was nothing they could do to bring her back. However, perhaps someone else could. The next day, and Tao's body was placed in a coffin. She was about to be buried. When a strange figure appeared on the outskirts of the village. The children playing nearby saw it and ran back to their homes, shouting. Incredibly, it was the wolf. It had tracked Tao's scent after the accident and found her body in the coffin. The three men who had helped Tao explained. How the wolf had been accompanying her. The wolf approached the mourners slowly. And as everyone tried to hide from it, it began scratching at the coffin. Someone attempted to shoo it away. But the wolf suddenly growled. Refusing to leave Tao's side. No one understood what was happening. Just then, the doctor returned to the village. He had heard the news the night before and hurried back as quickly as possible. When he saw the wolf scratching at the coffin. He opened it to examine Tao's body. As he started to examine her. He turned pale and immediately grabbed his phone to call the police. There had been a terrible mistake. When the doctor checked Tao's vital signs. He realized she was still alive. Her heart rate was so weak that it was barely detectable. And a wound on her back was compressing her lungs. Making it impossible to see her breathing. However, the doctor was certain she was alive. Tao was immediately transferred to the nearest hospital by ambulance. Where doctors helped her wake up from her coma. Her joy upon returning home was immeasurable. Waiting for her there was her furry friend. The wolf that had saved her life. The wolf had been adopted by the village. Who wanted to express their gratitude for saving Tao's life. The relationship between humans and animals is sometimes so profound. That it's easy to think that some animals are more humane than people. Humans are far from the only emotionally driven creatures in nature. While animals might not have as rich a language as humans. They experience the same genuine emotions. The stories we share today will demonstrate that. Animals can be even kinder. And more just toward humans than some people are to their own kind.
Marcus has been a hunter all his life. Many years ago, he built a small cabin deep in the tiger forest. He would go hunting there almost every weekend. Seeking solace away from the city's hustle and bustle. And finding tranquility in the quiet forest. This year, he turned 70, and while he might not be as strong as he once was. He's still strong enough for an old man to venture into his forest. And traverse it for kilometers. This time, he planned to stay there for about a week. So he brought plenty of food. After packing everything up, he set out. The wind was so strong that Marcus could barely stay on his feet. But he pressed on. Hoping to make it home before dark and light the stove before nightfall. Finally, he reached home. And as he approached, he noticed animal tracks in the snow. While animals usually don't come so close to a person's house. He saw a wolf cub on the porch. Soundly asleep. It woke up upon hearing Marcus's footsteps and dashed into the forest. Marcus felt a great deal of compassion for the animal. So, after lighting the stove in the house. He brought some food outside to feed the wolf cub. He saw the cub approach a tree not far from the house. Trying to avoid scaring the animal away again. Marcus placed the food on an old tree stump at a safe distance. Despite being scared. The hungry cub eventually overcame its fear and started eating. Once it was satisfied. The little creature turned and disappeared into the forest. As evening fell, Marcus heard rustling on the porch. When he opened the door. He saw the same little gray wolf cub timidly entering his house. And curling up next to the stove. The kind-hearted man didn't shoo it away. But instead gave it a chance to warm up and rest. The next morning, the wolf cub didn't return to the forest. Instead, every night since then. It came back to the man's house. Sleeping peacefully next to the stove. Marcus stayed in the forest for a week. And it was time for him to return to the city. However, he decided to leave enough food for the wolf cub. After returning to the city. Marcus fell ill and couldn't go back to the forest cabin. Months passed, and once he fully recovered. The first thing he did was return to the forest. He wanted to see the cub and check on its well-being. However, upon his return, he couldn't find the cub. The food had been consumed. But there was no trace of the young wolf in the room. At night, Marcus was alone in the house. Thinking about the wolf cub. He heard a whisper outside and opened the door. But to his surprise. He didn't recognize the people standing there. It was a group of individuals who appeared to. Have escaped from prison and were seeking refuge. They forcefully entered the house and began rummaging through. All the cabinets and pantries. Searching for clothes and food. They completely ignored the elderly man. Despite Marcus's protests. One of the men pulled out a knife and started attacking him. The situation became unpredictable. And suddenly, the door swung open. And a young wolf lunged at Marcus's attacker. However, the man managed to stab the wolf with his knife. Causing the wolf to howl and flee. Then, a massive she-wolf. Presumably the cub's mother. Appeared and subdued the attacker in an instant. Marcus rushed to his cub. Which lay in the snow. And pulled it toward him. However, it was too late. The young wolf's lifeless body crumpled in his arms. Showing no signs of life. Marcus sat on the ground. Holding the wolf that had saved him. And cried for a long time. The she-wolf remained in the house. Not allowing the other fugitives to leave until Marcus called the police. The police arrived, apprehended the criminals, and took them away. Afterward, Marcus was left alone in the small house. Filled with memories, and he cried bitterly. He remembered the first time he saw the gray cub. The little creature sleeping on his porch. And he cried in pain. He had never imagined that an animal could touch. And sadden him so deeply. 
sacrificing itself to save a life. Just like those heroic humans. On a snowy day in Siberia, a local resident decides to go outside. Something that may seem easy to most of us. But he encounters a horrifying obstacle. And his entire day takes a turn. Manuel was about to step out into the backyard. But when he opened the door, he discovered it was stuck. There seemed to be something behind the door blocking Manuel from getting out. This man was quite peculiar and decided to slip through the door's crack. He also heard some strange noises. Carla, Manuel's neighbor, explained that it sounded like the deep growl of an animal. Suddenly, he felt the need to see what was preventing him from leaving. And he spotted an adult Siberian tiger lying on the porch. The tiger was lying on the ground. Looking exhausted. Manuel hurried back into the house and called the Ministry of Natural Resources. They sent a team to capture the tiger and inspect it. Unfortunately, the road was icy. And the rescue team took hours to arrive at the scene. Manuel decided to wait inside the house until the tiger left. So he wouldn't have to hide anymore. Immediately after the rescue team arrived, they anesthetized the tigress and took her to their facilities for closer examination. In addition to her exhaustion, the large feline was facing serious health problems. She was missing 10 front teeth and had gum infections that made it difficult for her to eat. This was likely the reason for her exhaustion. Paramedics speculated that she must have suddenly appeared at Manuel's door. Recovery for a tiger in Siberia. Where only 500 tigers remain, is a challenging task. Full recovery is crucial not just for her but for the entire species. As the female tiger plays a vital role in maintaining the population. The Animal Rescue Center was established under the initiative of Russian President Vladimir Putin to study and protect the Siberian tiger population. It's unfortunate that the tigress wouldn't allow people to approach her. She used her claws to protect herself and compensate for her missing teeth. Initially, the tigress seemed to be recovering. And she began eating meat with antibiotics. Even though she was too sick to consume solid food. The medical staff hoped this would be the beginning of a steady recovery. But the results were disappointing. Fortunately, the tiger population is making a comeback. Giving scientists great hope for the future. Physically, tigers and humans might be different. But we are capable of connecting through love and compassion. This is a touching story about New Year's Eve. A forester knocked on the door and only his wife was inside. This is Nikonovna and Nikonorich. They have been living in a village. All the villagers think they are brothers. Because they look alike. And they also have the same last name. But in fact they are married couple. They lived together for 30 years. When people found out the truth about the couple. They started wondering why they had no children. They guess that there are probably some reasons. God may not have given them children. Or they do not want to have children. Nikonorik was a backcountry hunter who roamed the forest near the village. Hunting animals, gathering forest fruits and mushrooms. And keeping some livestock at his home. Nikonovna, on the other hand. Works as a saleswoman in a shop in the village. Because she wants to earn money so that she and her husband can buy a car. When the two got married 30 years ago, Nikonovna found out she was pregnant. But three months later, she lost her baby when she was attacked by a bear. The young woman was walking in the woods when she spotted a bear cub and petted it. But its mother suddenly attacked her. And the mother bear threw her to the ground and left with her baby. When Nikonovna was taken to the hospital, the doctor told her that the child was dead and her stomach was damaged. But this did not affect the relationship between the couple. They remained together and loved each other. Although Nikonovna did not become pregnant after that, 
Their only dream is to have a boy and a girl. But that didn't happen. As time passed, they lost hope. They completely forgot that the end-of-year feast was coming. And like all families, Nikonovic and his wife bought all the necessities to celebrate the new year. On the last day of the year, Nikonovna prepares a delicious cake. Delicious dishes and decorates the Christmas tree that her husband gave her. On that day the husband went into the forest after lunch. Hoping to catch something. While the wife continued to get ready for the party. Nikonoric was away for a long time. Until nightfall, and he never came back. This worried his wife. Because men usually stay at home for most of the last day of the year. Helping his wife with housework. After Nikonovna got everything ready. She sat on the sofa and waited for her husband to come back. Suddenly hearing a knock on the door. She thought her husband had come back. But when she got up quickly to open the door. She saw a beautiful woman in a bright white dress. These clothes were elegant and beautiful which showed that she was a rich woman. Nikonovna invited her to sit at home, brought her tea and food, and then had a New Year's party with her. The guest refused to eat, but took Nikonovna by the hand, made her close her eyes, and assured her that her future life would be very happy. In the near future she will have two children, a boy and a girl. Then she asked Nikonovna to make such a wish to God a few seconds before the new year, assuring her that it would definitely come true. Nikonovna was speechless, but she smiled happily. After a while the woman was ready to leave, and thanked Nikonovna for her tea. In the stormy weather, the snow fell and the wind was cold. Moments later, Nikonovic went home and sat with his wife until midnight. The man noticed that his wife was very happy and tried to ask why. And the wife told the truth about what had just happened. Seconds after the new year, Nikonovna held her husband's hand, closed her eyes and began to pray to God for her happiness in having a boy and a girl. Then she hugged her hubby long after they started celebrating the new year. When the couple finished celebrating, Nikonoric heard strange noises outside and went out to check. He was surprised to find a newborn child outside, who was freezing. A wolf stood next to him, and the wolf kept looking into Nikonovic's eyes, as if he wanted to tell him something. Then the wolf immediately walked towards the forest. When the little boy was held in Nikonovic's arms, the little boy kept looking at him. They then took the boy back home and when they entered the house. Norwich immediately walked to the fire, put the baby on the mattress after putting it on the floor and called his wife. When Nikonovna came, seeing the boy, she grabbed the head in great surprise. Then she approached the little boy smiling, and began to cross him and rub his head. She realized that her wish had been fulfilled. That the strange woman was right. The wife hugged the little guy and went to the kitchen to get him milk. The little boy had already finished the bottle. And he was crying like he wanted more. Then Nikonovna went to fill the bottle again. And the little boy looked healthy. And he looked at Nikonovna with his beautiful blue eyes. And she took him in her arms with great joy. The couple have been wondering how a little boy survived so long and how wolves brought him to their home. Nikonuric called the police the next day and told them what they had found. But the police officer asked him to take the little boy in. If anyone came looking for the little boy, they would call him and take the little boy to the police station. After investigation by the police, it was found that no child had been born in the village in the past few months, indicating that the child was not a rural person. The couple decided to keep the baby at home, and began considering adopting him if his parents really didn't show up. Nikonovna took care of the child enthusiastically, because she knew it was a gift from God. She asked her husband to go to the newborn registration center, in the village to register and ask for custody of the child. 
they did it the next day. And when they got the paperwork, they had the right to adopt the child as their adopted child. One night, Nikonovna was watching a TV show. When she suddenly saw the woman, who had come to her home on New Year's Eve talking to the host. In fact, she is a well-known fortune teller in their country. And she goes to strangers' homes every New Year's and fulfills their wishes. Then the wife laughed. Realizing how lucky this woman was to be able to visit her home. Nikonorich and his wife's dream of a son came true. As the woman promised her. And her life with her husband became very happy. But who would bring her the daughter? That the fortune teller had promised her. Nikonovna stood guard at the door every day. Thinking that since the wolf had brought her a little boy Alec. It would also bring her a little girl. But it didn't happen, which made her very disappointed. After three months she lost hope. So she thought her wish would not come true. But one day she didn't feel well. She had a strange pain in her stomach. And she went with Nika to the village clinic for a checkup. When the doctor performed an x-ray. It was discovered that Nikonovna was three months pregnant. The wife was very happy and hurriedly told her husband the good news, which made her the happiest woman in the world. The doctors couldn't believe what they saw. Because they had never seen such an advanced pregnant woman. Nikonovna knew very well that. The reason for her daughter's birth was that woman that day. After losing hope of ever having a baby, Nikonovna gave birth to her new baby on the last day of the year. Which, miraculously, was the same day she found her son Alec. Let this couple and their two beautiful children begin a new phase of their lives.